Okay, hello everyone. I'm here at the one of the BC Transit hydrogen stations that's up here in Whistler, and I'm going to be speaking to one of the engineers on site. Hello there. Hello. Hi, what's your name? My name is Paul Francescuti. I'm senior project engineer for BC Transit on the hydrogen fuel cell buses. Well, hi Paul. Uh, thanks for um, allowing us to come up here and checking out the um, fuel cell buses. No um, what are we looking at right now? Well, you're looking in the back of one of our one of our 20 uh, hydrogen fuel cell buses for uh, Whistler, BC. Um, as you can see, it's powered by a Ballard fuel cell, their, their latest and greatest HD6 150 kilowatt fuel cell. That's the big black box here. Um, and you can see various pipes coming in and out, air in, coolant out. All the power that runs these buses is coming through these orange wires here. So a lot of people are really impressed to see how much power comes through those little wires. As you can see, it moves on over to here into a bunch of inductors and inverters and computers. All of this is the brains of the bus that takes that power and puts it to the wheels, puts it to the air conditioner, puts it to heat. So we have power there, brains here, and that's how we get our bus on the road. Nice. Have, um, has anyone from the public noticed that they've been driving in fuel cell buses throughout this time? We have quite a few people mentioning how quiet they are and uh, how smooth they are, but for the most part, one of our goals was these buses should be a bus. Uh, if you step inside one of these buses, there are no hints other than the hydrogen signs inside that tell you that this is a hydrogen fuel cell bus. Yeah, I noticed when I when I got into the um, bus number four, um, I noticed that it was very quiet, yeah. not really much difference. I mean, I've driven in, I've ridden in fuel cell, in buses before, and this is my first time riding in a fuel cell bus, and really not much difference. Not much. Is difference. that really the goal here? Or? Well, the, we are trying to prove that this is a viable. Uh, technology for transit operations around the world and if it's uh, you know if it feels different then it's not really viable we want it to feel like a bus drive like a bus it, a driver should be able to get behind this bus and drive it like you would in any other now there are a few obvious small changes to the driver's uh, routine when starting the bus but other than that it has a gas pedal and a brake nice all right well thank you Paul you're welcome